Right now on the jump, we're working on ski cross with everybody. Um, the course has been made really well. It's got a great flow to it. Um, as you can see, the features on the course, it's got a, a Wu-Tang, like a table at the start here, lots of rollers, uh, berms to try and test their carving. Uh, with a specific line into it as well. They're obviously going to be head to head, that's the key thing. So there's a lot of pressure on them trying to perform when they're racing on head to head. Um, the guys have been working really hard on all the different elements of ski cross. So in the training process, we've separated the course apart and we've worked on different elements and then we've kind of put it all together uh, to get them racing and getting the feel for it. On camera! <laughs> better. So we've got Jake in the course now. Obviously trying to work on his, his jumping. How he takes these tables in ski cross. Really good work with the arms. Come on Jake. He's one of the more confident guys, he's really getting into this. Uh, he likes to be in the air, he likes the thrill of it all. Um, big thing that all of them have to do is really try and drive their arms forward and down as they're going over it. But also not forget their legs. If they're left too long in the legs, they're not aerodynamic. They've got to tuck their legs up with them. Um, but it's good, I mean we've seen a strong progression go today, so people are making big changes. So Lewis just had a really good run in the ski cross training elements. Got Gareth in now. Not too bad. Got to drive those arms forward and down. Driving them forward. Driving them forward. Oh, slow it down. Ah, well held. You got still got more to tuck up if you want. Really? Yeah. So obviously we're training separately here on these jumps, which is a lot of the elements that's going to be in the ski cross course. Uh, but you just see Lewis come down there, and because of his gymnastic background, he's much more adaptable in the air. His skis are landing almost in the glide of the slopes at the same angle as the slope. Where a few of the guys, like you saw in Gareth just there, just being caught slightly back with the arms. So it's the adaptability, it's that sort of change in the body position that we're looking for. Right guys, today is ski across, it's the big event the one where you're going to be against each other head to head okay four people one course you can see here when you look down it it's got a lot of features there's a lot of aspects of what you've learned already we're all going to be crammed into this one event this one arena you've got your wu-tang at the start this is your your key element to the whole course i love the idea of it uh i've done a couple of these on snowboards and they're great fun so i've always i've always been envious of the skiers so now that we're on the skis it's going to be great and we've got the element of competition can exactly. we not can we just say though the first like maybe today no nudging and shoving oh loads of contact yeah. what's the rules on oh, after that today. yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you can't, can't, you can't push yeah. someone yeah. contact yeah. Yeah. yeah but you can Bring it in suck it up Course, Lewis, what's your feeling like ski across? All right, it's good fun. Okay. Mm. I'm loving the adrenaline, love the jumps, love the speed. Um, it's a combination of balance uh, and like going fast. So yeah, it's really good fun. I'm really enjoying it. Awesome, mate. Let's keep going with that start. Yeah, power the arms, power the upper body. We'll count you in three, two, one when the course is clear. I'll show you it for feedback later. Okay. All right, watch it. Okay, mate, let's have a look at you over the first jump, the table. Guys, have a look at his, his body form going over this jump. Look at his head and shoulders kind of tip forwards and where he lands. Okay, we're going to count you in. Three, two, one. Go for it, Lewis. And then the pump out of there. Yeah, that's first. So if Good you run. bend then, it will help you get more speed. But that's what about putting your sticks in? You can? Yeah. Doesn't that just burn energy or does it help? No, it helps. Okay. Um, so what's the ski cross feeling like to you? It feels good mate. It feels good. It's nice and fast. It's a technical course. I like it. I'm just focusing on my game at the minute. I feel quick and I'm happy with it. I'm just working on this start because that's Let, where Lewis is going to get me. Let's get the head and shoulders just tipping forwards as you come up in the air, okay? Okay. Right, counting you in. Let's get ready for the course. Sorry, I didn't get that. Thank you. 
And three, two, one, go for it, Spencer. It's better. What's ski cross feeling like to you, Gareth? Uh, ski cross has gone from something I fear to something I'm loving yeah. because I've kind of learned the technique to attack the fearful things. And also, it's not a case of being in the air, it's the least time you're in the air and the better position you're in the air makes the faster skier. So, for my fear of being off the, off the ground, it's compensated by the fact that I need to get to the floor as quick as I possibly can. That's good. I know a quick way to get to the floor, mate. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I've done it a million times. We'll video this start, Gareth. Hi, bud. I want to try and see you change it in the air, tipping yeah. the head and shoulders forward as you go over this first table, okay? Power in the arms, mate. Left and right arm working evenly. Counting you in. Three, two, one. Go for it, Gareth. Brilliant. Right, Lewis. Lydia, keep an eye on Lewis yeah. in the air here, yeah? Okay. okay, so three, two, one, go for it. And this, and the full, okay? Good. 